This is the camera. Oh, that's the camera. <laughs> So, I'm new in this business. Hello. We're back in my childhood home in Davisonville, Maryland, and I'm here with my dad. Pay attention. Look up. Look alive. Hello, everyone. Hello. And we're going to show you how to make Persian steamed rice with tariq. What does tariq mean? Bottom of the pot. Yeah, perfect. Tariq is the crispy rice at the bottom of the pot. We're gonna start by dealing with the rice, right? Yes. So, ugh. look at this. We're gonna use basmati rice to make this. Yes. We've already soaked some rice. Usually we soak it for at least, like you do it for like 30 minutes. I do it for like minutes, two hours. Half an hour, yeah. I've soaked four cups of rice. So you can see the basmati rice and the soaked rice. Soaking it elongates the grain. It's gonna be really fluffy. We also rinse the rice ahead of time until the water runs clear. What that does, it takes off all the dust from the rice, and so you're gonna get fluffier grains of rice. We want this to be really fluffy. You put some salt in there usually when you soak yeah, it, right? You put the salt. When you put the when you soak it, you put the salt because you can taste the salt. You're gonna make this so it tastes like the sea, okay? Because rice, just like pasta, it absorbs all of that. Our water is boiling. Look at that. We're gonna cook our rice for five minutes, like I did with the tachin, okay? Um, we're not trying to cook this all the way, we're just gonna like halfway cook it until it's just, not even al dente, like just, just a, little a little bit. A little bit of soft. A little bit of soft, all right? Woo! Go ahead, give it a stir, Bubba. Beautiful. And now we wait, 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 wait for the rice to halfway cook. Growing up, my sister and I, my dad, my mom, like we had rice all the time. I don't know if you know this, dad. I actually got sick of rice as an adult. Like I was like, I can't eat rice anymore because we ate it so much with every meal. We That's why ate. she's making this because she just wants you guys to taste how badly she feels, so yeah. that's why. <laughs> that's it. Have you ever completely ruined a pot of rice? Did you ever just not throw it really. away? No, I mean, not really. <laughs> He's perfect. A few times. They call him Mr. Perfect. <laughs> see, I'm sorry if my head is too big. You know, it's just... <laughs> now you see where I get it from. <laughs> just FYI. You so look, you can see, right? Yeah, it's longer already. We're gonna drain it, and then we'll get started making the tadik. I decided that if I use a non-stick pan, the tadik, um, it gets a really nice color and a nice crust, but then also I can flip it out so it comes out in one whole piece. So we're gonna put this on about medium high. I like this pan. This is like a wider base pan, but you could also use a smaller pan. So I'm gonna add a little bit of um, oil to this and a little bit of butter, like three tablespoons but we're also gonna add in a little bit of saffron. So dad, talk to me about saffron. The most expensive spice in the world by weight. It costs so much money. Uh, like, you know, if you bring, I don't know, half a pound of it, it could be a, a lots of money. So you have to pay taxes on it. Sometimes instead of using um, saffron, I actually use turmeric. Saffron is definitely better flavor. We all know the, how much turmeric is good for you though. I don't think that it's a sin to use turmeric if you have turmeric. So we're gonna add a little bit of saffron to this. I need a little more, a little more for good luck. So this is just blooming the saffron right now in this heat. You can see it's already turned like a golden kind of color there. We're gonna pack the like semi-steamed rice into the bottom of this. So we're gonna pack it pretty dense because that's gonna be, that's gonna be the tadi glare. So some people also put yogurt in this, like yogurt in the bottom because that helps release it also. But you have to have a, a non-stick pan in order to have a yogurt in it. So this is gonna be our tidy glare. Form this into a pyramid so that it's not all the way edge. You can do it. I've seen it where people put it all the way edge and they flip it out and it's like a whole dome. But we're not doing quite as much of that because we want more steamed rice than we want tidy right now. We're gonna add some um, holes into this because this is gonna help steam the rice. And we're gonna add some more butter to it as well. And I kind of like stick the butter in the holes, right? You do it. You help me. What I have this on right now is medium high and it's gonna form the tadik, the crust on the bottom. You can hear it kind of already sizzling. Can you hear that? We're gonna let that form that tadik layer and then we're gonna turn it down and we're going to add the lid to it. So make sure no matter what you do with the pot, you gotta make sure that you have a tight fitting lid with your pot. That's the most important thing. We're gonna put the lid on with this towel. Why do you put the towel on, Dad? To absorb more moisture, doesn't get mushy, just get more fluffier. All of our towels, I feel like, always smell like rice because that's what my dad would put around to make his rice. The tadi glare is formed pretty good. Look, you can see a 
around. It's all there. We're gonna put the lid on with the towel, tight fitting, just like this. We're gonna lower the temperature to like medium low and we're gonna let this steam for about 45 to 50 minutes. Ready? That's all you gotta do. We're back here in my parents' house. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, it's been cooking for how long, like 50 minutes? Uh, 45 minutes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this under the water. It's nice and hot. You should hear a little sizzle underneath of it. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> do a dance, come on, dance with me. Come on, you gotta dance first. Come on, do the rice dance. Do the, dance, do the rice dance. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> my dad has no time for my nonsense. The nonsense portion of the video is over, okay? It is time to make some goddamn rice, am I right? Okay, ready? Okay, so guys, here's what we're gonna do. Settle down, okay? This is the most nerve wracking part. Amanda's coming over, my sister is coming over to watch. Pressure's on, we're gonna flip this shit out, okay? We're gonna put this plate here, all right? And then we're gonna put this one here. You wanna do the honor or you want me to flip it? You do it. Okay, you ready? Uh, say a little prayer for me. <laughs> the rice came back in my face a little bit. Ooh. Okay. The grand reveal. Push it over a little bit, see? Look at that. Holy shit. Smush it down a little bit. So I think the key is using a spatula to get in there, right? My mom and my sister actually love Tariq more than my dad and I. They fight over at the dinner table. Like whoever sits at that end of the table, they like put the Tariq at that end of the table with them. My dad's ignoring me. <laughs> he literally, you, you just don't listen to me, do you? Rice is always served with stew. I usually do, um, we do fest in June, gourmet sabzi. What's this, Dad? Celery. Celery stew. Celery horesh. So this is what we're doing, and we have a shirazi salad, which is like tomato, cucumber, sumac, red onion. Put some of that on there for you. Cheers. Let's try it out. Mm. How is this rice, Dad? Is this as good as yours? He's not talking, so that means yes. This is delicious. Really good. It's buttery. You can taste the saffron. It's beautiful. Look at that golden color. It's so like fluffy and just amazing. The crispiness of the tariq. It's very important the rice to be the way it is. Very fluffy, tasty. Is this the best? Very good. This is, this, is very good. Is this the best tariq you've ever yeah, had? Best I ever had in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that one day you guys will be able to go to Iran and have rice in Iran. Or guess what? We just showed you how to make it yourself. So now you can make it at home. Click the link below for the recipe. Hashtag cook munchies. I think we nailed it. Rice dance, rice dance, rice dance. Come on, dance. Stop it. Oh well, that's oh. it.